Hey guys, as I said before, I'm going to be transforming this section of my living room, this wall, into a cute little area where I can take pictures or do some work in this section where everything looks really neat, clean, and aesthetically pleasing. So the first thing I'm going to do is sand down this entire um, buffet. It's called a buffet, this wardrobe looking thing. So I'm sanding it down. That way when I go to paint it, the paint will have something to stick to. And when I'm done sanding, I go ahead and wipe everything off with a clean cloth just to make sure there isn't any residue left because I'm going to be painting it white and I don't want any of that brown stuff to show through. Jordan, what do you have there? Paintbrush to paint you guys down. Aww. Okay. Are you going to get this paint and, and put it in there for me? Okay. Do you know how to open it? Are not that strong. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Jordan, what? This is how you um, open a stick of fork. A fork? Yep. Where did you see this? No, I just, I just figured it out. Oh, wow, okay. I can hear some of the air. Oh, so it's working. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I guess you know what you're doing then. Okay, well, I'm gonna go take a nap and um, I expect this to be painted, okay, buddy? Okay, bye. Well, I don't want to paint. I, I can't believe a fork is actually making it. Here, put it on the camera stand. Cameraman. Oh, it's dripping. Okay, ready? And when I take it out, I have to put it over. It's okay, we're painting that. Like this? Mm hmm. Oh. Okay. So, no way. <laughs> All right, so let me pour it into the um, pan and then you can start painting. Oh, God. Okay, guys. So, my mom's gonna. My mom's gonna. Look at me. Okay. Do you guys see? Yep, you guys can see. How can you put the cameras to my face right now? Jordan and I are gonna start painting, FYI. This paint is low VOC, which means it's relatively safe as long as you have tons of ventilation, you should be fine. So Jordan is fine and we have lots of windows open and he's just helping me for a little bit, not the entire time. It's not, it's not that, it's not even a small camera. It's not, imagine having a robot camera. That will follow you. You gotta, you gotta make sure that you Take all the paint that you have and make sure that you use so much of it that it doesn't it doesn't really normally have any more paint on your brush. Get you some paint more paint. Get some more paint on your brush. Good. Oh, it stinks! It smells like feet. You gotta be careful on the side. That's a nice nice stripe you got there. Beautiful. You know what you do? That is sometimes when you're on the corners. Just We're gonna do two layers, so this doesn't have to be perfect. So just quickly do the whole thing. Yeah, go in a straight line, just like that. Yeah, there you go. That's beautiful. Straight lines are perfect. But when you do this, that. No, just just roll straight line. Let's go. Oh yeah, well, you do have the you do have the card. Here, buddy, let me show you. You know, guys, when I used to pee myself, when I used to pee my bed, um, um, it all, that's what paint smells like. I remember I peed my bed. Every time you roll it backwards, I hear the noise all the way over here. Like, the noise kicks all the way over there. Please believe Jordan was talking my ears off the entire time. But it was fun painting with him and showing him how to do something, you know? So I take these opportunities to spend some time with the kids and do something different. And he had fun. And he learned something. Of 
Okay guys, first layer is all done. I have a confession to make. I was not about to paint the inside. It was kind of messy and stuff. So I decided that this um, buffet is gonna stay closed forever. So I'm gonna be doing the next layer shortly. Now to shop for the decor. So Pony and I are at, um, this is Structube in Canada. I don't know if you have this in the States as well. But we're at Structube, just looking around, browsing around, and I think I know the idea I'm going for. I'm kind of going for a muted white, um, maybe cream type of aesthetic. So we're just looking at how many cream things we can find in all these stores. They had really cute stuff though. And a lot of it was actually reasonably priced. I did consider doing DIYs as well, but honestly, I just felt like I've been taking so long to finish the area and I didn't want to spend any more time trying to figure out how to do DIYs and you know, it just takes a lot of time. So I decided to go the expensive route, LOL. Now we're in HomeSense and we're checking out this really big plant, plant, <laughs> plant vase. It probably is for outdoors, but I'm definitely using it for the space. And I just want to say, where is HomeSense going with Halloween? I mean, I mean, I hope we have a Halloween, but I, uh, I don't know. Comment down below, guys. Do you think we're going to make it to Halloween 2020 or is it canceled? So we are back home now and as you can see I added a floating shelf off center just to give the space a little bit of dimension and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what we ended up buying at the store. So I got this super tall distressed vase from Urban Barn which was 60 bucks. I think it's a perfect fit. It has a little bit of character, a little bit of texture so I'm going to go ahead and add that. I also got these two vases or vases, dear god. Comment down below, are you seeing vase or are we seeing vase? Is it vases or vases? Okay, let's, let's, let's fight. So I got these two. I'm gonna add them to the shelf. A short kind of wide one and a tall slim one. So at this point guys, I'm kind of just guessing. I don't really know exactly what the finished product is gonna be. And I think I'm gonna move them to the top. The bottom seemed a bit, a bit much because there's already a vase slash vase there. I also got this from Structube. Now in the video earlier, I had shown you a taller, bigger one of this. It was the exact same thing, but just bigger. But this one actually ended up fitting the space perfectly fine. And this was 32 bucks. I also got this vase from Winners. It was, I think $12. And I saw it on the return rack behind the cashier. So I kind of lucked out with that one. This is my favorite piece. I got this from Value Village. It was like 15 bucks. So this is my only little DIY. <laughs> so what I went ahead and did was take off the top of the lamp and I went to Michael's and bought these kind of ash leaves to go in the top. So when I was trying to take out that, that metal piece, it was cemented inside the actual lamp. So. I thought I'll have to just cover it up with some leaves and you know what it came out so wonderfully I'm also using Gorilla Glue because I didn't have um, any other glue and we were just going to use what we had okay use what you had and make it work you can really find some amazing stuff at Value Village I also got these flowers from Winners. Oh no, these are from Michaels, 17 bucks for the four each. So I got two. And I'm just gonna add them to my tall vase. And I'm telling you guys, I didn't know what I was doing, you know? I was just kind of going along and getting stuff and hoping that they worked when I got home. So I got this really cute plant from Vandermeer, which is a nursery. I also purchased this big um, cement pot. It may be for outdoors, but 
it's staying indoors so i'm putting my plant right inside of it and i think it's so perfect now last but not least i forgot to add my knobs to my doors so these doors as i said will never be opened okay so these knobs don't have to be functional <laughs> they just need to stick so i used some super glue but i later ended up, ended up using the um gorilla glue actually instead so i held that there for a while a very long while guys <laughs> but finally the space is finished so i'm gonna have a really cute space i can do my makeup my fashion or clothing haul videos in this space it's neutral and i love it so comment down below guys do you guys love the space as well i mean i love it i love it so if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it be sure to comment down below and i'll see you guys next time i love you bye